Hello. Check out my gyro cam. It's a swivel bracket that you mount on the top of your uh, helmet. You use it for mountain biking. You could use it for riding uh, road bikes, kayaking, canoeing, skateboarding, motorcycle, you name it, you could use this. It's going to give it a little spin here. I looked online. A lot of the companies that uh, had these for sale were on eBay and they made them in China. And I read a lot of the reviews on them. And after you ship it, it costs about $100 total. And they break very, very easy. And the way they make it, it's almost impossible to return. Um, so you want to just throw them away. Then I researched another company that has a very, very good quality version. Uh, they're made in Europe and they are uh, sold through a distributor in California. And uh, they're about $250. And for the really, really good one, it's about $499. So I said, you know what? I'm going to make my own. I watched a couple other people that made theirs. They use PVC uh, pipe. I decided I could do a little bit better than that. So I went to my local home center, Home Depot, and found a metal rake. A lot of contractors use them to pick up nails on a piece of property. Well, that rake had a beautiful um, expandable aluminum handle. So that was $10. I bought the GoPro um, roll bar mount. And with this setup, it worked a lot better than the handlebar or the seat post mount. And I mounted it right onto the rubber grip of the rake handle. And um, it works very, very well. Also, I bought a regular caster wheel. Uh, I went through a whole bunch of different caster wheels. Made sure I found one that uh, the housing was tight on so it didn't have extra wobble. Uh, then, uh, I bought some rubber bushings, uh, a couple wing nuts, a whole bunch of heavy washers, and a stainless steel exhaust clamp. And that exhaust clamp is what holds the washers with a couple rubber bushings with wing nuts. And that is the counterweight, which keeps the camera at balance. Uh, I used wing nuts, that way I could change the weight depending on what camera case I use. And um, uh, this whole system cost me about $40 to make, and it was fun. It only took about an hour. It took a couple hours to think of what I was going to do in my approach. Uh, but once I built it, it was instant gratification. And this swivel is so smooth that you just twirl your head slightly. You could get the camera to really, really whip around. And it's very stable. And to mount it to the helmet, I use zip ties. That way, if you take a crash or you hit something really hard, you don't break your neck. The zip ties will just break right off the helmet, and your camera apparatus will fall to the ground. What I like about this system is if I need to replace a part, one little part breaks, I could just go right to my home center and get that part, and uh, I'll be back in the action. And I'm sure. I might tweak this design slightly as I go out and use it, but um, I'm very happy with what it's, uh, how it's performing as of right now. And uh, I can't wait to go out and use it and go uh, biking and kayaking and canoeing and skateboarding and all these little activities I do, I'll get to get a good view. The thing looks absolutely ridiculous on my head, uh, but People will understand what, what's going on when they see it. They'll prove, probably be pretty fascinated with it. So uh, I really appreciate you guys watching my video. I have some pictures at the end of this video which show some of the bits and pieces. And it's probably a good idea to tighten the helmet up so there's no play. So when you tilt your head, um, the camera doesn't uh, shake uh, abruptly. But uh, it's a very neat system, and anybody can make one. And you can go out out there and, and watch the footage that you got and get instant gratification. But just walking around the house, you know, you could uh, get a 360 view of uh, what you would be looking like 
uh, in any position. So it's uh, absolutely incredible. Very uh, fortunate that uh, I was able to come up with this and put it together so quick. It's a nice holiday weekend. I'm sure I'm going to do a lot of activities, and I hope to get some really good footage. So thank you.